today on the show, it's literally rainbow science class. Welcome everyone to Powered by Rainbows. I'm of course your host, Professor Pride, and I'm so excited to have you in the studio today because today we get to literally do rainbow science class and recreate the LGBTQ pride flag in test tubes, in chemistry, which is so exciting to me, and I love to have you on the journey. So welcome in. Uh, all we need to do for this experiment is to have some test tubes with some water in it. This kit is from Amazon. It was about 15 US dollars, so fairly inexpensive there, and uh, you can get it for your home or your school or some of that. And by the way, this kit is made with recycled plastic, so you don't have to worry about uh, ruining the environment by getting this, uh, but it's all little test tubes here with uh, caps on it that just screw on pretty easily and that way you can have uh, some water in it or whatever kind of uh, experiment you want to do with it. Now this does come with some directions in it of different experiments you can do besides this but today we're going with the rainbow experiment uh, to make it really, really cool. So we have some water in here up to our little fill line and we also have some food coloring over here. Now, you could do this experiment with much more advanced chemicals that are a lot more dangerous, but that's not something that's for kids and something we need an actual lab to do with a whole bunch of extra equipment and not to mention glass beakers and safety eyewear and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, rather than going to a science lab and doing this, uh, we wanted to do this in the studio with some simple stuff that you can get at home, like some food coloring, for instance. You can get this at any local grocery store, dollar store, Walmart, or wh wherever you're shopping. You can probably get yourself a pack of four of them. It comes with red, yellow, green, and blue. And that way you can have all sorts of colors to make our rainbow in our test tubes. So first up, we're gonna decide which test tubes are for which colors. Now, obviously, uh, they're going to go in your direction on screen, so it's gonna be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. So that's what we're hoping for, at least, with this experiment. But again, this is an experiment that we've never tried before, so we hope that it works out. Uh, so first up is our red over here. So we wanna turn this test tube into red. So how do we do that? Well, we add some red food coloring to this water right here. I'm gonna unscrew it and put it back in our little thing. And this is a really convenient little uh, rack to hold everything upright so I don't have to worry about it. But we're gonna add some red food coloring here. Now, of course, uh, of course, uh, this is edible, so in case you, you know, accidentally get it on your hands or in your mouth, you should be fine. Just try not to get it anywhere near your eyes. Uh, that would not be good. So we're gonna add some red food coloring to this. Just a couple drops there, should be good enough. And that is not the right lid, this is the right lid. Well, that's embarrassing on camera. I'm gonna screw that back on tight down there. Now, right now, it looks like there's uh, a, some blood in there, which is actually kind of neat if you're into like uh, Halloween and stuff. We're just gonna shake it up a little bit here. And ooh, that's starting to look nice there. So now we have red. And uh, next is our orange test tube. We're gonna add some red and yellow to this one because we don't have orange over here in our uh, colors for food coloring. So again, just open it back up and open it up there. So we want some red and yellow. Now, we added three drops for the red here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shake it up a little bit and I'm going to put one drop of each in and see how that mixes first and we should go from there. So one yellow, and then one red. Now again, I don't wanna to add too much of either color because I wanna see how this mixes first. So I'm gonna tighten it up pretty well there and shake it up pretty well. Wow, that actually worked out much, much better than I thought and you cannot, it's like camouflage with my shirt but that actually worked out much better than I expected. <laughs> I'll be honest. All right, so th th we're, we're getting somewhere now. All right, with our food coloring, we're going to next go with yellow, and that's this one right here. So let's take this cap off really quick, put it back in our little rack, and this one we just wanna add three drops of yellow food coloring to this one. 
two, three. And again, I go for the wrong cap. I, oh. One of those days, folks. <laughs> Don't you love science that you can make mistakes? All right, so there is our yellow. This is actually turning out much better than I thought it would, <laughs> I'll be honest. If you can uh, see that on camera, we now have red, orange, and yellow. This is looking awesome, like 10 times better than I ever expected. So next is our green color. So as you can tell on our backdrop here, uh, the rainbow goes in that fashion. So green is next. Let's open up our fourth little uh, test tube. And green is pretty simple because we have a green food coloring dye over here. Um, so we're gonna open that up. But if you did not have green in your packet, let's say for instance, you got a three packet of food coloring, with just red, yellow, and blue, then you can certainly put together blue and yellow and you'll get your green color from that. Uh, because as the color wheel goes right here, uh, green is your secondary color to the primaries, uh, blue and yellow. So we're gonna add three drops of green to this one. Two, three. I keep doing that. I keep, I keep, keep doing that. All right. Close this up. All right, we're all closed. And you wanna make sure it's firmly on there before shaking it, because that would end kind of badly for wherever you're doing the experiment. Wow, that is a vibrant green there. I don't know if you can notice on camera, but it is definitely green. I'm gonna put it against like a different color backdrop. That way you can see it. Wow, that's, that's, this is working out like a million times better than I ever thought it would, so, you know. Here we are. Next up, we're gonna do some blue. And because we have the primary color blue down here, we're just gonna go with the blue food coloring. We're gonna add three drops in here. One, two, three. And then we'll put the blue back down there. Screw this back on. Make sure it's tight and mix it up. And this is really fun because this is something that you can do at home as a kid. Uh, you don't really need, uh, you know, too, too much parental supervision for this because it is just food coloring and water. So it's pretty cool there. Um, but now we have a majority of our colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Next is of course, purple on our list. So here we go, open it up. Now, which two colors do we mix together to get purple? our secondary color of purple. Well, we're gonna need red and blue for this. So let's add one drop of red and then one drop of blue. Let's see how that works out first before we go adding any more. Because again, I've never done this before. <laughs> it just sounded fun. Wow. Alrighty, we have purple. It's a little dark of a purple, but it's still a purple, a very dark purple. So maybe what we wanna do to this is maybe we want to add some red to this, I'm thinking, to kind of brighten it up a bit. And that did brighten up just a bit there. So now we have all of our colors. We're gonna put all of our caps back on these food coloring uh, little packets. And that way they're all safe. But now we have all of our colors for the LGBTQ pride flag. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. and. This little experiment is something very simple you can do at home, in school with your kids and your students, um, but it's just enough to show them that seeing a rainbow is a good thing and seeing a rainbow means that there's love and uh, acceptance in the air in your classroom. So uh, even if your town isn't too LGBTQ friendly, this sort of experiment, without even mentioning LGBTQ topics, this sort of experiment 
shows your kids that they're going to be loved if they come out as LGBTQ to you. So uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this little experiment. I certainly did. And we now have a whole bunch of test tubes that we get to play around with, with the different colors and experiments. So now we have our pride flag in science class as well. So I hope you had fun today. And uh, again, all of the links for the food coloring and the uh, test tube little uh, rack we got here with all six test tubes is available in the description of this episode. Go check them out. And uh, you can do this experiment all on your own and go have fun with it. And certainly in the comments down below, send us any ideas you have for other little experiments you can do at home with rainbow flags or different colors, all that sort of stuff. Uh, let us know in the comments your favorite experiments there. If you'd like to see more LGBTQ educational videos like this one, then check out this playlist right here or subscribe for weekly episodes. And if you'd like to see bloopers and outtakes and behind the scenes of every episode, then consider becoming a member of our channel by hitting join down below. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I am of course your host, Professor Pride. Have a gay day everyone and bye for now.